so what's up guys welcome to another episode of bars like the big one so today i'm going to be showing you this praise bars lines okay very easy to achieve <laughs> pardon me a lot of people say that you use this very easy to achieve actually it's very easy to achieve okay when you look at it closely when you look at your fretboard you can achieve it all right so this praise bars line is a simple okay it's all about you know i've been telling you this on all my praise lessons you know i've been telling you guys this that praise is all about pattern just get the right pattern and the right reading the right bars lines and you know just flow picking the right notes choosing the right notes to create a particular bars lines or to create a particular pattern okay so that's it so i'm going to break everything down here that i did on this praise song. This praise song is a well-known praise song we make use of in our churches. Okay, so Tambira, do you have I think it's a South African song. Yeah, I think it's a South African song. So we add it to our praise list. Yeah. Tambira, do you have Watch the pattern, get to see how my fingers go on the chord changing. So get your bass, let's get started. So guys, the key of the song is on G flat, which is also known as a what F. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so and I have my F here also. Okay, so that's my F sharp. Okay, so um, I will start by telling you what I did. That's the pattern, the progression of this song. Praise songs, their progressions are very, very simple to understand. It's just the um, one, four, five, four, one thing. Okay, so the progression is one, then four, then five, then one. That's it. Do, and five, and so. That is the progression of the song now using the pattern to beautify it because you can't be playing this you can't be picking the notes on one i'll be doing that okay so you need to just find a way to create um bass lines around the progression you know picking one or two notes putting them together here how they sound so what I'm doing is making use of all the notes on my F sharp major scale. Do, so, do, re, mi. Walk down to my next chord progression. Repeat the same thing. Then. Fa, do, fa, so, la, fa, so, re, so, la, ti. So that was the first move I did. Now the first um kind of um movement or lead to spice it up, I did something like these are just normal basic movement. Starting from my this don't forget the key we are F sharp F sharp. Starting from my third. So what I did on the three. That's what I did on the seven, leading me to my six at the end of the day. Mi, fa, mi, re, ti, do, ti, fa. Then you go. Do, so, so, la, do, fa, do. Do, re, fa, so, re, re, mi, so, do, so, do. So after that, after that movement, to end it, I run. This is my F sharp major pentatonic I run. This is it. Climbing to my F sharp. I started from the high notes of my one, which is my do, which is my F sharp. That's the key. One, two, three. So that 
Phonics of Annotation, that will be your Do, Re, Mi, So, Mi, Re, Do, La, So, Mi, Re, Do. That was it. So, let me put everything together again from the beginning, slow to this part. The F sharp major pentatonic that I run. Okay, let me take everything to that point. Um, so, the first move I did. simple that one is octave octave using the octave to just um, groove on the praise song so from the f sharp major pentatonic then you go using octave okay then i'm going to my four chord don't forget after my one is my four chord after my four chord is my five chord don't forget so all this is these are just reading to beautify or move to beautify the praise song. So do do re re mi mi re re fa so so la la so 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 la la ti ti. Then the next move that I did, I started playing that sukusu that's like okay. So that move, the octave. to the next pattern okay so that's it one one two two three three two two four four five five six six five 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 six six seven one these are unfading praise songs as far as the air to remain and they cannot fade away Okay, even the bass lines, you know, we make use of them often in our local churches. And if you can try work on it, work on the patterns, like I say, praise is all about patterns. You can create yours. Okay, you can create yours if you know what you're doing on the bass guitar. Okay, so that's it. So linking me to... is on the sukusu part also the same the same pattern i use on all the chord changes okay the same your starting note matters you know my starting note is I started picking from the high note. Okay. And also observe the fingering. If you notice my 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 constant note there that I'm hitting is this. So 
that was it. So the last bass line I did, I did something like... That one is simple. Then I kind of start giving it the South African way of playing it, okay, the bass line there. The note you're playing here, that's what you're repeating here. So you know, the work is here. Anyone you want to do, the work is here. So that was it, okay? So you can just play around with them, play around with the groove, play around with the song, and enjoy yourself, okay? So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this. Alright, so if you're new to this channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. Okay, and don't forget to also turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload videos. Okay, and um, also if you need private lessons from me, you want to go deep on your bass learning, on your bass guitar, you really want to know some certain things, you can um, chat me by WhatsApp or you send me an email, it's going to be a live Zoom session. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you. I will see you in my next video. Bye.